Hey y'all, let's take a look at overall average today. First off, let's go back and do something old. All right, how do you do this problem? The grades on the quiz are as follows. John 86, Paula 93, Richard 67, Georgina 78. What was the class's average grade on the quiz? Well, obviously, all you do is you just add all four of those together, then divide by four, there you go. Sometimes, however, we have a different type of average problem, and this is what it is, all right? Here's a practical one for you. The three dogs in class averaged a 90 on the quiz. The seven cats averaged an 80. Obviously, cats are dumber than dogs. Okay. What was the overall class average? Now, if you say, oh, wait, I got, there's 90 and then there's an 80. Oh, it must be 85. Well, that's not exactly correct because there are only three dogs that averaged a 90. Seven cats averaged an 80. So the overall average is going to be closer to 80 because there were more animals that averaged an 80% than there were animals that averaged a 90. So it won't be just in the middle of 85. Now, if you had five dogs that averaged at 90 and then five cats that averaged an 80, well, yeah, it'd be right in the middle there, 85, right? But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to figure out how many points total were scored in the class. And what you do is you go, okay, there were three dogs that averaged a 90. So you're going to go, okay, the total number of points there, three times 90 is 270. Seven cats averaged an 80. So you can go, okay, there are seven cats. They averaged an 80. Well, seven times eight is 56. So that's 560 points. All right. There are 10 animals total, three plus seven. All right. The total number of points scored, seven plus six is 13. And that is what you're going to divide by 10 to get your average of, of course, 83 is your average. Now that's a sensible answer because more cats are in the class. It's an advanced class. They averaged an 80. So that skews the overall average away from 85 closer to 80, which makes sense. Now, if we had flipped that, where we had seven dogs averaging a 90 and only three cats averaging an 80, that would have skewed the overall class average closer to 90 because there were more dogs scoring that. So that's overall. You figure out how many points total did one group score or cost or whatever, how much did the others, and then add it all up and divide by the number that you have. Let's do another one, all right? The average of the first two numbers was six. Average of the first next eight numbers was 20. What was the overall average of the 10 numbers? Okay, in other words, you have got a couple of numbers, their average is six. A bunch more numbers, their average is 20. What was the overall average? Now, it's, again, it's tempting to go, oh, 20, right in the middle of 26, that's 13. But the real average is going to be skewed way closer to 20 because there are eight of them as opposed to just two, right? So let's take a look. If you have two numbers and their average was six, you're going to go two. It's the same thing as having two times six, right? Like It's like having two sixes. Now, that, that might be, you know, 15 and then, you know, negative three. But it's still, it's the same thing as two times six, all right? The average of that next eight numbers was 20. So there are eight numbers, and they average 20. That's a total of 160, all right? So we have a total of 172 with all the numbers. Now, how many numbers are there? Well, there are two numbers here, and there are eight numbers there. So that's a total of 10 numbers. So 172 divided by 10, of course, is 17.2. Now, that's a sensible answer, right? If you had a bunch of numbers, they, they're 20 average. Only a couple of numbers average into 6. Your overall average is going to be closer to 20 than it is to 6. Okay. All right. Let's try the practice problem on page 137. Pause it and go ahead and come back when you're ready. Okay. Average price of the first four items is $40. Well, we don't know what the prices were individually, but we know it's the same thing as basically saying that every one of those four items costs $40. So it's a total of $160. Average price of the next six items was $80. Again, we don't know what they, individually what they are, but we know it's the same thing as having six items and they all cost $80. Six times eight is 48, and there we go. And let's see here, overall average price, well, let's add them all together. For four items, I get six items, that's 10 items. 640 divided by 10 is $64. And that is more sensible because it's a little closer to 80 
than it is to 40. So since we have six items that are closer to 80, then we have four items that are closer to 40. So, okay, that is it. Have a great day. See you next time. Take care.